Yo guys, yo guys, welcome back to Sam Rick YouTube. I am Sam and doing a video. So, <coughs> oh, I got some cold. I became a level nine some days ago. So, you have seen me in Royal Arena, in around two one zero zero trophies or something like that. So, this time I pushed again up to the Frozen Peak for collecting crowns. Though I have not performed very well in Plan Test. Only 36 crowns, but thanks to Manoj and Stranger Shreyan, means Rik, my friend, for collecting so many crowns. So, okay, that's good. But see this new deck I have made. Oh, I have tested many decks, I think. Yeah. But I have loads of wins with this deck. So, guys, I will be not doing any live battles because I am bored now. But yes, I will be showing you all the replays of my wins, of how, how to use this deck. I've won all the matches using this deck. So, the first one was against the Reaper from Daily Meta Game. So, he told me good luck, okay. I started off with the fire, Ice Spirit, oh. How can I say that's fire? He had a level 6 wizard and... Ice Wizard level 1 No man How oh, I zapped that I was about to take loads of tower damage But I didn't But sorry guys I apologize, I apologize for just Getting lower level opponents he also used a golem deck. I was ready with my golem. This is one of the closest matches I ever had. So, see this deck. Okay. I had the inferno dragon which I got from a legendary chest. So, this is a beast. The inferno dragon is a beast tank killer. That means... Oh, zap. I took loads of tower damage there. He did very well. But he wasted his free spell there. So. It was okay. I deployed my golem. This is my first serious push. Not a casual. I was waiting for the extra time. Into double exit period. So I deployed my inferno dragon to get that golem done. And I then played my nasty combo with my golem loon that was very nasty I played my second inferno dragon there it was perfect he played very very well But this time, I had my baby dragon ready. This time he played very very well. Though, I deployed my balloon. I zapped it. And it was game over. I defended at 395 health points. So, that was the first battle I did with that deck. It's a very nasty deck. I got many 3 crown wins, I think. Yeah, here is one. A very good 3 crown win. Oh man, let me drink some G Fuel. I love that. So, this time the deck was a little zap bait. 
and a little weird his deck was bad boy he used this nasty combo there I had that only so he used his gobo barrel I knew he will deploy it at the back so I knew that so now I thought of starting a golem bush a very nasty golem bush to start off that, that time but his minions were just too 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 much oh he had an inferno dragon so I zapped that and had it done so he had no counters left or he had a counter but the golems did damage hit him and it was done and then my inferno dragon roasted all the towers and then it was a game over for him he could not do anything because my inferno dra dragon locked onto the tower and roasted it completely it was a perfect three crown win for me so bad boy 3-0 win that's a good win for me again one more there this time it was a hog lightning deck with a lumberjack and allied barbarian it was very very powerful deck if he deployed his lumberjack with his elite barbarians he could have destroyed me so he started off with a very low level mega minion though mine is also low but there was a massive push going there so I just had it just took one hog hit so I started off with a golem at the back P0.2 Who's his car me? He thought that the inferno dragon is gone but it was not The first push of mine was in vain, but at that time I took it out because I was just waiting for the double elixir period to step over. He was waiting for a loon, I think, or something like that. Though his mega minion ate my loon up. Yes, he had a very, very well played prediction arrow very very well played no one can do it like that just a it's not just a matter of joke so he had my first tower but the double elixir period was approaching I was ready for a hard golem push I knew that those elite barbarians will go down I will take some damage a lot of damage I thought but not he took it and there was a nasty push and I saved my dragon from that I saved my dragon by deploying that balloon another golem was ready This time I put my inferno dragon because I knew that it will roast. And his lumberjack I think he got from a legendary chest. And it was well played by him. And I won it. A three crown victory there. So, 
this is the third win with that deck I did sorry guys I did not do much battles in this video this is the first time so just see the gameplay oh retro royal I lost my connection every time I played retro royal this time the player gave up though he had huge huge leveled up cards but the first golem push was in vain because of my inferno dragon I defended it because he had to defend it with my archers I put my balloon I knew that he had to defend it that's the strategy where people do it let us deploy their things to distract the opponent player I froze those golemites so here I was ready for a golem push there and after seeing that golem push he gave up you will see this from the weaker end I started it he was a level 10 oh So he had my first tower. I don't know he was lagging or not, but I forget which battle it was. Though this was not that battle, but still, the devil elixir period approached and. I was ready for my nasty golem loon push at which to defend because both are good damage dealers and air plus ground combo is very nasty and this was my most powerful push in my deck that could be get so that balloon had it the balloon ate him both the inferno dragons roasting that tower was done in seconds and so that was the fourth battle Zibu the view 21 so I think one two three four four battles I have shown you till now then it was retro royal I lost my connection then I lost with my hawk cycle deck that was not uh, but though there is not a golem deck at all So guys, I am not going to show you this one crown victory because it's a hawk cycle deck. But here the last two replays I am going to show you. So, this was against Alejo. I think this was the battle where he gave up. I see so many golem players around. Because the golem loon combination is very very nasty. So, he started off with a level 4 golem that had me that I was just too 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 worried about the golem but I realized that it not that I can defend it with my inferno dragon because the inferno dragon is such a good dealer with the golem or anything like a beast he's a beast killer but the problem was I had loads of damage on the tower because the musketeer logged onto my tower but still I defended with a baby dragon 
so it was horrible for me but though his archers were so 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 powerful that i cannot tell you that with even three baby dragon heads the archer did not die too here he gave up i started off a golem push though from the stronger end he had then i don't know he lagged or not but he gave up or he did not had any defense to do so see a card was selected there and for that i think he gave up he did not played against me i was ready with a zap i deployed my ice spirit and this game because the inferno dragon was roasting it though for assurance i gave out my baby dragon and that was the game there see the tower roasted and after that i am going to show you another battle and that will be the end of the video so this was the last video it was a little tricky because he had a pekka that's a very 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 good counter against a golem so but there's a very weird thing very very weird thing is that he had a bomb tower instead of a tesla because the air units cannot be attracted can be attracted but cannot be hit by a bomb tower and then he thought of pushing with a pekka but he didn't because he saw my golem rushing in there but i took a bomber hit there he was ready with my balloon here i give two crown victories that's very 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 rare to have because i maximum have three crown victories or one crown victories it's very rare to have a three crown victory the balloon ate up the tower though i took up a lot of damage but i distracted them this scene very less that you distract an ice spirit by that time i wasted a lot of time and there the double elixir period was not much far away nearly 30 seconds there so he used his light bars which i were not ready of so but Yes, I got my Skarmy luckily back to rotation. So he had a arrow that was wasted, though. Because he, if he had let those arrows, those oh, not those arrows, not in those skeletons, he the towers would have killed him. Again. Both the infernos roasting that tau that what it is called yes the pekka. This time he had the arrows, and that was the end of the game. Here I took the second tower, though it's very weird to have a second tower with a golem deck. It's very rarely seen. So I deployed my golem for safety and distraction, and that was the end of the game. I loved at him. So. Guys hope you like the video enjoy the video and please if you enjoyed please like the video and subscribe to our channel hope you enjoy and have a great day guys so bye i am going to wrap it up here